4 o'clock and we're here at Oak Run Fruit heading for a beauty event, Chanel beauty event with, I was about to say Venice, but I'm with Evelyn. Where is she? There you go. We're here right now. Thanks. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hi, how are you? You're prepared. Yeah, you ready? Oh, I Inhale, go back up. 
Your back's still arching, 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 just like firm and nice and rounded. Good stuff. A couple more rounds on your own count. Beautiful. And on the next one, come back to your neutral spine. So tabletop position here. In this moment, we're going to lift the right leg up to the side. And we're going to do a couple of hip circles. Don't have to go too high. <laughs> Whatever you can just do. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to do a substitution. It's an outwards or inwards. So you can do both. So a couple of upwards, and then a couple of opposite direction inwards. Perfect. Good. And on your next circle, you're going to step your right foot forward into your first low lunge. Okay. So here, you want to test that. Is my knee over my toes? Can you walk that? So Allison, sit back a little bit so you're, yes, perfect. Good. Great. Yeah. Amazing, everybody. Awesome. And here, you're going to balance your weight onto your left hand using your right hand. Push against your left, your right knee, and look behind you once again. Good. You should feel it in your right side. All right, come on back forward. And we're going to sit into our first butter lunge. So slowly shift your hips behind you, straight up the front leg. Good. So I want to come on up a little bit. So I'm like, I want to pull my chest forward, but sit my butt behind at the same time. Yeah, good. Okay. So right lean forward a little bit, but then come up a little more. There you go. Do you feel a little deeper? Perfect. So I want to feel a deeper stretch. Hold it here for a brief moment. Do a couple of bounces a little bit on the hamstring. And then slowly step forward, bring the leg back. Okay, so we're coming into our first balancing position. So making sure that your fingers are nice and uh, spread out. Okay? Your heels are nice and strong. So we're not leaning too far forward or too far back. So right in the middle. And then give a little more gap to the lips. Perfect. Alright, let's take our right leg straight behind us. Love it. Good. Find your balance first. <laughs> Find your balance first. And just look. Just yeah. look. And then extend your left arm all the way ahead of you. Beautiful. So this is our first bird dog balance. Have a good idea. Tuck the belly and toe. Yes. Love it. Good. Looks good, Allison. Perfect. Let's hold for two counts here. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Good. Come on. Breathe. Two, and dropping the arm, leg stays up. We're going to come into a couple pulses. Good, so you can do that. Four, three, two, one, and drop down. Big toes touching each other. Open up your hips nice and big. Then we're just going to slide back into our first rest position. Child's pose. Send your arms, push through your palms, dropping your butt as close to your heel as much as possible. This is part of the last one, child's pose. All very grounding and relaxing. Okay, if you're ready again, pushing your body back into your tabletop position. Back up to all fours. Nice and strong, you can use the ears to help you as well. We're going to do the cat cow once again. So again, we're going to inhale, tucking our spine down towards the ground. Chin comes up. Exhaling. Hip comes touch. Spine is arched. Inhale again. Exhale. Two more quick ones. Exhale up. And let's come back to neutral spine. Perfect. Good work. Left leg comes up. Same thing to the side. Circle one direction. Circle other direction. And still try to find your balance. This one's a little difficult to manage as we're rotating at the same time. Good. And on your next rotation, step your left foot forward into your low lunge. Again, be mindful of your toes and stuff. Make sure the knee is not like Yes, yeah, so using your left arm. Yeah. Push against your left knee, then look to the left side. Almost. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. There we go, Megan. Good it grow. Good. And then untwist that arm. Come back to forward. And we're going to sit our hips back. Into your butter's lunge again. 
chest forward, up and back. So we're not all the way down here, we're coming up a little bit. If the leg fully straight hurts, bend this leg. You don't have to have a straight leg in this position. All right, relax that leg, set the back, now take the tabletop. Perfect. Nice and strong again. This time we're going to lift our left leg straight behind us. Take that toe, point, point it to the opposite direction. And when you find your balance, extend your right arm and join me into your bird dog. And we're going to hold here for a couple more times. Very nice. Good, strong posture. Nice, Allison. Good, strong hold. Deep, take a deep breath. Three, two. Let's drop the arm, left stays up, couple pulses here. The activation. Three, two, one more. And drop that leg down. Toes, big toes together. Wide stance, sit back into your child's One time. Really sink into it. And that exhale allows you to go a little deeper into that seated position. As we come to a close to our one. Alright, nice. shift your foot forward. Bring your knees back together. This time I'm going to curl up my toes. So my toes are curled behind me. I'm going to sit up into our thunderbolt position. Just like this. Good. Exhale, twisting to my right side, legs and lateral. Perfect. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, left side. Inhale, coming up again. Exhale, other side. Good to go. One last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Perfect. Drop your arms back to tabletop. We're going to come up into our first downward dog. So we'll see if we can do the line. We're going to kick our heels back, bum in the sky, pressure through the palms. Good. Very nice, very nice. So try to spread your toes a little further apart so they're not touching each other. Yes, make your gap between your feet. Pedal up those hamstrings. Feel the back. It's almost like you're trying to touch your chest to your knees. And at this point, I want you to slowly walk your toes all the way to the top of your mat. Fingertips on and slowly vertebrae by vertebrae. Come on up to our first standing posture. Awesome. Take a deep breath, palm facing the sky, roll your shoulders back. Shake it up a little bit here if you need to. As we come to the our warm up. Awesome. So again, in Vinyasa Yoga, sun, sun salutations are a very common close. We're going to go to one round of sun salutations. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do it. So again, inhale, arm comes up. Palms together, bring it back to front center. Feel the push between your hands together. Notice how you're standing. Am I too far on the edge of my foot? Or am I too far on my toes? I want to balance the weight between all Next inhale, we'll raise my arms up. Five my ears. Exhale, hold it slightly down. 90 degrees, nice and slow. Until my fingertips and my toes are aligned together. Just like that. I'm going to step my right foot back into our little lunge. At this point, you keep your knee up or knee down up to you when you're comfortable. Be mindful that this knee needs to not be over the toes. Perfect. In a moment, we're going to step our left leg back into a power plank position. So left leg comes back, plank position. Down the tight rung, bring it down slightly. So not up here, just. Yes, there you go. Strong. Let's keep it. Hold for three, two, and drop your knee. We're going to come into our eight point position. Knee comes down, chin and chest to the ground, bump and step. Ashtanga, eight point position. It's a little weird if it's your first time doing it, but it's a very good position. Inhale, drop your body. Coming up to your cobra. Perfect. Curl your back toes. 
come on up to tell your dog once again. There you are. You can see the back. Now we come up just a little bit. Perfect. Now look at your toes a little more. Walk your toes forward. Yes, there you go. Back flat. Pedal it out. Back hold. In a moment, you're going to step your right foot forward into another little lunge. Beautiful. Sit your hips down. Feel it almost like you're trying to push your hips to the ground. So April, step your foot further up. Yes. Good. Left foot comes to join. Before you get up, you're going to hug yourself. Then sway side to side. Deep up pressing our spine. And slowly releasing. Coming all the way back up to stay once again. And arms come back up to ears. Exhale, folding out our hips. All the way down to the ground. Fingertips and toes in a straight line, so the side of your toes. Stepping the left foot back into our little lunge. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. See, like, awesome. Left leg back. Awesome. 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 Awesome.
happened last year. Make toes touching each other. Come down into your child pose once again. You always want to come back to a rest position after a moment of strength and energy. Keep back here. Good. All right, bring your thighs together, dropping your belly onto the ground, nice and flat. So I'm on my forearms and my palms right now. Love it. Inhaling, I'm going to lift my chest up and down. I'm going to swallow that bend. Just your chest. Good. And then dropping back down, extending your both arms in front. So we're going to come into our first big string building, lower back string. You're going to inhale, lifting your right and left leg off the ground. Superman or Superwoman posture. Exhale, dropping body and then opposite side. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, dropping. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, dropping. Two more. Inhale, right and left. Exhale, drop. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Perfect. Relax here for a second. Push your body up. Walk your palms forward into puppy. So your back is extended. Lovely. Love in the sky. Good. Relaxing. And come on back up. Onto all fours. Our second last hour of facing dog. I promise. Curl your toes. Hop it up into the sky once again. Head on off these hamstrings. So you're a little higher in the back than you're really tired. Good. So when you're ready, slowly walk those toes all the way to the top of your mat. Join me back again in standing. Perfect, perfect. All right, once again, we're going to raise our arms up. Exhale to your chest. Sit down in your invisible chair. All right, the challenge you here is to sit here for a moment. Take a deep breath, belly is tucked. Lean forward slightly. And we take the whole pulses down. See if you can sit further down into that invisible chair. And uh, whatever your comfort is, you don't have to go super deep. Whatever feels good. Knees apart. Go for three, two, one, and stand back up. Shake it out. Good. Right, same thing. No worries. Right foot steps back. Let's come into our right high lunge. So again, either you have your back leg straight, or if it hurts your hips, bend your knees slightly. Whatever feels good. Making sure your knee is pointed forward, hands can stay on your hips, or come all the way to the sky for our pulses. Again, ready? One, two, three, nice bell, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come down, knees come to the ground, walks in front. Perfect. Into a deep lunge. Left leg steps back this time. Come into our last plank position. Good squeeze, heels kick back. Good. So let's drop our left knee. Okay, up. I'm going to twist my body facing you guys into a straight line. Take a deep breath first. Good. If you feel balanced enough, you might join me and do some comfortable leg lifts. So when you're ready, go for one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. And twist. Come down, bump in the air, arms extended, puppy pose. Drop your head onto the ground, the forehead on the ground. Deep breath. Good. Let's move in, let's shift our way forward. Belly onto the ground. Arms on my palms, in my forearms, and I'm going to inhale, lifting my chest. Just a small back foot. Six pose. Good. So pedal, come up a little more. Keep your elbows on the ground. Yes. There we go. Good. Then drop all the way back down. Arms extended. Last one around for superwoman, superman position. So you're going to start with your right arm, left leg up. Right. Inhale, lifting. Hold one and two. Exhale, drop. Inhale, opposite lift, hold, one, two, 
and they're holding on to her ankle, our shin, whatever feels good. Deep breath here. Then inhale, and get back. Awesome. Dropping those arms, shake it out. This time, notice my toes. I'm going to point it to, towards the corners of my mat. So I'm coming almost into like a really wide stance squat position. Perfect. The wider the better, you're working more in your groin area. Good. Let's come into arms up. You're going to inhale, sit down into goddess. This is your goddess posture. And you're going to exhale, come into star. Inhale, sit down. Exhale, pop it up. Star. Couple more. Inhale, sit down. Exhale, star. Two more. Inhale deeply. Exhale, pop it up. And last one, drop down the goddess. Arms onto your knees. And let's sway side to side. <laughs> I just have to make sure. <laughs> so fun. Guys, sway it up. Relaxing here a little bit. And slowly come up back up. Maybe you have to crawl your toes together to bring it back down. Good. All right. Let's take this side now. So nice and tall. Same thing. You're wrapping that spine. Arms come in front of us. Good. Right. Exhale. But slowly drop your body behind us, but we're not going to touch. We're going to hold here. So hover as low as you can go. Hover, hover. And inhale, twenty-five. Good. Couple more. Exhale, dropping. Nice, right? Inhale, coming back. So <laughs> Second last time. Inhale, dropping. Good now. Perfect. Nice, I can breathe. Inhale, coming back. Last one. Last one, last one. Hold, Three, two, and come on back now. Bend your legs, spread behind you, here you go, knees. Perfect. On this one, we're actually going to lie all the way down. I want you to go nice and slowly, holding onto the back of your legs, maybe walk you down as you go, and then slowly lie down. Good work. I'm going to have you bend your knees here. Good. Perfect. Belly button into the ground. Good. Relaxing your shoulders. And the next thing I want you to do is lift your thighs off the ground, or your feet off the ground into 90 degrees. Perfect. All right, I'm going to hold this for a little moment. Okay, nobody's walking this way. Good. I'm going to come press you, so you're going to push against my arm. So again, you will push against my, my hands. So bring your knee this way. Okay. Push. I'm going to push you, you push me back. Yes! There you go. Now you did, right? Okay, same thing. Yes. Oh, okay, good. There you go. All right, have a little pushing. There you are. Okay, you want everyone's work to activate it. Push me, push me. Okay, good. All right, my good. You're gonna push me. There you go. See, I'm gonna go to the gym. Love this. If you need a second to put your legs out here, you can. We're gonna bring them back up. Crisscross your hands behind your head. Lift this leg lifted. This time I'm going to inhale, lifting my shoulder head off the ground, and exhale, dropping. Again, inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Hug your knees to your chest. And roll side to side. Beautiful. This is a great decompression. And when you're ready, drop your feet to your ground again, planting it. And we're going to come into our first glute bridge. Kind of walk your heel as close to your bum as possible. And we're going to exhale and lift ourselves all the way up to a straight plane. Yes, there you are. Good. Let's hold it for a couple moments. Squeeze your bum as much as you can, lifting those hips as far as it can go. Deep breath here. Three, two, and drop yourself down. Good. Awesome, awesome. Home stretch. This is your last core activation. Have your legs straight to the sky. Good. Crisscross your fingers behind your head. 
Awesome. So this time we're going to inhale coming up. And exhale coming down. One more. Inhale coming up. And exhale coming down. Now we're going to build on top of this. So inhale coming up. Exhale, right leg drops. Hold here. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, head drops. Good. So inhale coming up. Left leg drops. Left leg comes up. Exhale, head drops. One more time. Inhale back. Left, right leg drops. Right leg comes up. Head drops. Last one. Inhale, come up. Left leg drops. Hold, hold, hold. Left leg up. And then head drops back to the ground. Hug your knees one last time. Good. So the thing about doing core work, the slower you do it, the more you feel it, and the better it is for you. Good. Good. Let's drop our feet to the ground one last time of our glute bridge. Heel to the ground, close to your bum as possible. Lifting your glutes off to the ground, lifting, lifting, lifting. Perfect. Good angle. Good. Pull for three. Two, good, great, one, and drop it down. Amazing. All right, we're going to final stretch. Right leg comes up to the sky. Grab the line your right thigh. And at this point, we're going to walk up that leg. And try to bring it as close to us as possible, pointing our toes towards our face. Very flexible, everyone. Good work. Good. Good. And then slowly walking down that leg, dropping that leg down. Left leg comes up. Same thing. Let's walk it up. Walk it, walk it all the way to the sky. Pulling it towards you. Toes are flexed towards your face. Good. And slowly walking down that leg, dropping it down. Good. This time, you're going to cross your right leg over your left thigh, just like how we started. Good. You might just stay here, or you can hold your left leg up, and you might grab the hind leg, or you might pull your knee in. Yes. Good. Nice. Good. Very good. Nice. Two deep breaths here. And releasing that leg. Switch sides. Left leg over. Pick up that leg. You might grab your knee. You might grab the back of your thigh. Whatever feels comfortable. Good, Allison. And same thing. Releasing that leg. Drop it down. Final stretch. Left leg goes straight. Right knee towards your chest. Pulling it as close as you can. Opening up that hip one last time. And you're actually going to move your right leg towards the left side of your body, dropping it down into a slimy spinal twist. And then I'll go to my right side. Legs to the left. Looking to your right. And release. Good. Left knee comes up. Right leg comes straight. Same thing. One last time. Good. Left leg goes to the right side. Looking towards the left side. And release. Coming down. Congratulations. Our last pose. Savasana, which is course pose. If you're new to yoga, this is the pose that we always want to end with because it helps process what we just did. Let's the body rest. And then you can be in absolute stillness, still focusing on our breath. So again, if you're new to this practice, this might be the toughest part of yoga practice because you have to do absolutely nothing and we'll just rest here. So follow that deep breathing exercise we're doing in the beginning. Maybe relax your fingertips, your toes. And 
flex your jaw, and wrinkle the eyebrow area, relax your tongue. And every exhale, try to sink in a little deeper. This might be a moment that you take your body, look how proud you are that you made it through your first yoga session, or if it's not your first time, that you didn't have a practice. And let's connect back to the word that you set your intentions on. What did you want to get out of today's session? Did you meet your goals? I'm going to lie here for a couple more deep breaths. Maybe count five. Nice long inhales. And the exhale is slightly longer than the inhale. And at this point, you want to slowly wake it up body, so maybe you can pull your toes out, move your fingertips. And maybe we're going to reach our arms all the way over our head, angel lock our fingers. And let's pull our body to this really deep long lengthening of the spine one last time. And undo those fingers. And you're going to slowly turn to one side into your sleeper position, resting your head onto your arm, bending your legs into this very supportive lower back sleeper. So this is actually a really good position to sleep in at night time, especially if you put it a little between your legs, it's really good to help align your spine, especially since you spend so much time sitting on it, you want to relieve some of that tension. So let's rest here for a moment. Take a couple more deep, long exhales. You may slowly push yourself up, all the way back up to our seated position. Back into our resting easy pose. And sit up nice and tall, cross your legs, whatever piece comfortable. Maybe adjust your neck a little bit here. And as you inhale, raise your arms one last time. And bring it to heart center. Nice and tall stature. I want you to rub your palms together, creating friction between your fingers. Feel the form, the love. Tap it onto your eyes. Feel that heat on your face. And when you're ready, I want you to come up with a big smile. Onto your heart center. And now let's say, Good job, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you again for joining this practice. Take your time to get up. And instead of looking at Marty's photo refresh, the boys can do it too. Stay. Yes. So we just finished our yoga experience at Chanel. I wasn't expecting that we're doing yoga. I thought it's at a beauty event, but it's one of a kind. It's, I guess. They said even the um, even the beauty consultant there saying that it was the first time that Chanel did that. So it was amazing. It's relaxing, very relaxing. And we had amazing time. Same thing with Evelyn. She enjoyed the whole um, experience. And yeah. Thank you, Evelyn, for joining me. And Ben, Ben, thank you. 
I yeah, like so I'll, I'll end my vlog here. Big game, game. Heading and home now, and we're going to watch for sure the Grammys tonight. So. Oh. I've been doing.